Welcome back to another how-to episode from Panasonic Pro AV. The series consists of a number of videos that we'll use to cover questions that we frequently get asked. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at a new function added to the UHS 500 4K compact switcher known as the ROI function. ROI, otherwise known as region of interest, allows operators to extract the parts you need from the image output from a camera and assign them to cross points. Operators can extract up to four individual crops from one camera and produce the same images that might be possible with multiple cameras. One of the key features of the UHS 500 is the capability to expand on its standard inputs and outputs. In this case, by installing two additional AV UHS 5M1 option boards for additional SDI inputs, or using the AV UHS 5M3 for additional HDMI inputs, it is possible for operators to extract a total of 12 images from three cameras simultaneously. SDI inputs 1 to 4 can operate as standard inputs, meaning that we can have individual camera feeds running into the UHS 500. SDI input 5 then allows you to get up to four individual crops from that single camera position. And it's important to add that when we're doing this, SDI inputs 5 to 8 will also be occupied by this function and therefore cannot be used. If using the additional option boards as seen here, inputs A1 to 4 can be occupied by the ROI function and cannot be used for any other camera feeds. If you were using the additional SDI input or HDMI input board, the inputs you'd use would be inputs B1 to 4. The size and the position of the ROI source can be adjusted in the same way as you would control the pan, tilt and zoom of a camera. Up to 10 sizes and positions of the ROI source can then be memorized using the preset memory function on the switcher. In terms of the zoom ratio, the ROI function allows between 10% or 10 times and 100% or 1 times. As you can see, the ROI function allows a smooth movement between each memorized position, making it a fantastic tool for a multi-camera shoot. We can also control the ROI function using the joystick located on the switcher. The ROI function works on any camera in both 2K and 4K mode with progressive input signals only. The output of the signals generated using the ROI function can be either progressive, level A, only, or interlace. So thank you very much for watching.